Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm going to be unboxing the new Tri Beauty box for February, as well as reviewing all the products I got back in the December box. The December box was a collab with Angelica Nikvis, and I did do an unboxing video on it. If you miss it, I'll throw it up in the cards. But now that I've got one box kind of here, and I've got the next box ready, what I want this video to be is basically a review of all the products from the last box, and then we'll be doing an unboxing of the new box. I'm wearing most of the products on my face today, and I've got a lot of opinions. So I want to start by going just like line by line in what I got in the last box, and then we'll go into the unboxing of the new box. Okay, so the first product, I'm going to go just following the list that they have here on the card. The first product was the Glam Light Miracle Palette, which was $28 retail, theoretically. And it's just like this really pretty pinky, neutrally kind of palette. I am wearing it on my eyes today. I've tried it out a few times. And I just have to say, like, it's a, it's an average palette. It's not bad, it's not spectacular, but, like, the shades work. I really, particularly, I love the mattes in here. I'm not a huge fan of the shimmers, but, like, they still work. You can get really nice looks out of them, like, it was just, like, alright. But knowing the color story and knowing what I have in my collection, I really don't know if I'm going to be reaching for this palette. That's the only thing. But, it did get me to try Glam Light more so outside of their kind of, like, I guess, gimmick aesthetic, which is, you know, like, the, the cake pal- the food-themed kind of things, but, like, this showed me that they can actually do, like, a decent kind of regular palette, and I liked it. I just don't know how often I'm going to be reaching for it, considering I kind of already have these shades and different formulas and different palettes in my collection. I will say right off the bat, I don't think this is worth $28. Uh, if anything, this is probably more along the lines of like a $15 palette is what I would actually be willing like to pay for it. Next, we have the Makeup Geek Highlighter that was included, and I believe I got the shade Psychedelic, and uh, <laughs> so I decluttered it. <laughs> I did do just a whole declutter week. I'll throw my whole declutter playlist up in the cards, but the only other like palette or highlighter that I have left is the Celestial, which I gotta go back and watch the first video. I don't know if this is the one I got in the Tri Beauty box, and that's why I kept it. But I had two Makeup Geek highlighters. I decluttered one. This is what I have left, but this isn't on the card, so I'm assuming this isn't what I got. <laughs> editing Monica back here guys. I was confused because I do have this shade Celestial and I did get the shade Celestial in the box but it's not labeled as one of the options on the card which really confused me but this actually is the highlighter that I got in the last Tribe Beauty box. Uh, it's like a decent highlight. I'm wearing it today. It's just like okay. Like it's it's got like a pinky kind of undertone to it. It's a bit too much to wear to work. I'm not working, I'm actually filming this on a Sunday, so I'm not going to work today. It's it's a bit too much for me to wear, uh, like when I'm out and about, you know? Like, I wouldn't wear this to work, really. So, I mean, it's like okay, but like, I'm not wowed. Next, let's talk about the lipstick that I'm wearing today. And this is from Gerard Cosmetics, and this is the Hydra Matte Liquid Lipstick, and I got the shade Mudslide. I gotta say, I love the color. The color by itself is gorgeous. I just really don't like the formula. Like, it's, again, it's called Hydra Matte. So, like, yes, it's going to be very matte, but it's also, like, really uncomfortable. And in order to wear it today, I put on, like, a thick layer of, like, um, not lip gloss, like, chapstick, and I let it sink in for at least an hour before I put this on, and that makes it wearable. But, like, it's still dry. Like, I had... <laughs> moisture on my lips for over an hour and then I put this on and now it's just like <sniffs> so yeah I'm not a huge fan I love the color so I would definitely like wear it for like pictures or for maybe filming but I, this isn't something I would wear all day at all so I'm not a huge fan of the lipstick unfortunately next let's jump into the other lipstick that I got in my box which I don't know if this was a mistake but I think it's actually like my favorite product in the box and this is from Wander Beauty and this was the lip setter so this is a double-sided uh, lip liner and lipstick I wore this all day yesterday it's like a bullet lipstick in that it's satin finish very comfortable but it's it's gonna wear away especially if you're eating especially if you're out and about but I love the color I got this really pretty like mauve -y color. Oh, so I wore this yesterday. I love that you get the lip liner and the lipstick together. It's comfortable and I really liked it. So I actually looked up the product um, and it's like $28, which is a bit much, 
but I was still considering it because I actually really like this lipstick. So I, I think this is my favorite part of the box. It's comfortable. The shade is gorgeous. I liked it. All right, next, I don't actually have the brushes here, but the five-piece stained glass brush set from Klinona Cosmetics, I really liked. I really like those brushes. I've got them just like in kind of my everyday makeup brushes area. I particularly liked the angle liner brush. It's what I've been using for my eyebrows recently. It's just really good. So I'm actually really glad I got to try those um, brushes out because I think it's the first brushes from Cledona that I've been able to try. Next we have this loose pigment. And so this is the Ven Venus Gale Cosmetics Vixen Potion Pigment. I'm wearing it a little bit like in the inner corner and on my brow bone. I'm just not a huge fan of pigments. And this, it wasn't spectacular. It wasn't really a shade I'm really like drawn towards. It's just like, I don't... I struggle reaching for single shadows as it is, but like with something, with something this messy and I don't know, I just, I'm, I know I'm not going to reach for it and I know I didn't like it when I actually forced myself to reach for it, so it's a bit of a dud. Okay, and last but not least, we have this mask. So this was the Retinol X Collagen Chair Up Mask from the Sistine. So we got two of them and they're like under eye masks. I used the first set a few weeks ago, like back when I first got this, and then I used the second set this morning before I did my makeup. I gotta say, I really don't like the shape of the mask, because do you see how it's like this, where it's got like a cherub, like it's literally like a cherub on this side, but it's, it made it bulky and like weird, like is the cherub supposed to be on the outside, is it supposed to be on the inside, like it felt weird putting it on, and then like I felt like I got nothing from the mask, I didn't feel really moisturized afterward, I just felt kind of damp. <laughs> So, uh, I gotta say, I wasn't a huge fan of this, and I've got other, like, sheet masks, even, like, dollar sheet masks that I think work better than this. So, overall, this box was kind of a dud. I really liked the Wonder Beauty lipstick, and I like the Glam Light palette, but that's kind of where we're standing right now. So let's jump straight into the unboxing of the new box, which technically isn't really a box anymore. This is the first time they're shipping in bags, which I can appreciate. I understand it's kind of more expensive. It's probably not as good for the environment to keep shipping in those boxes. So they sent everything in this bag and then you actually got a little Tribe Beauty bag within, which I think this is such a cute bag. It's a door. So I put all my products in here. So we'll open it up and start going through what we get. So I have our card and we're gonna go through products product by product. The first one, let's talk about the palette first. So this is from Wander Beauty, the same brand that did that lipstick that I really liked last time. And this is called the Fling Palette, which is supposed to be $25, which I uh, don't know if this is worth $25, but it's really pretty. It's got a mirror and these are the shades. They're very neutral. They're very springy. Um, and they're mostly shimmer. I think this is like the only true matte in the palette. So, so I'm interested to try it out and see how I feel about it. Next, we have this stick from Iconic Beauty LA. This is the glow stick, I believe. And this is filled with jojoba oil. Use this stick on your face or on your body to restore your natural glow. This is an amazing product to enhance your natural highlight. Yeah, I don't know if I'm actually going to use this because I don't like anything other than a powder highlight. <laughs> especially when I'm this pale already, but I'll, I'll give it a shot and see how I like it. Next, we got these two brushes from Luxie Beauty. We got the 111 and the 237. So this one looks like an interesting, like kind of slightly angled brush. I wonder what it's supposed to be used for. Let's see. The mini flat angled brush. Use this brush to smudge, blend out harsh lines, or densely pack on cream products onto your lid. Okay, I don't know why. I never would have thought this would be used for cream, but we'll try it out and see how we like it. Next, we have this blending brush, which actually I'm quite excited for because it does look like it's a good shape and size for my eye. So this is the 237 blending brush. This is a classic blending brush ideal for applying transition color transition colors to the crease and blending out any harsh lines in your eyeshadow look. So I'm excited. This looks like a good size. I like it. So let's test it out and see how it actually works. Next, we actually got a skincare item. This is a serum. And so this is from Earth Harbor. And this is the Phyto Resurfacing Night Serum. And this is supposed to be $54. Mm. A rich Feather Light Serum containing seaweed, collagen, tropical star fruit acids, and botanical multivitamins that retexturize skin to reveal a more, to reveal and more radiant. Oh, okay, so there's a typo in here. 
to reveal a more radiant looking complexion all while you enjoy your precious beauty sleep so this is supposed to be like a nighttime serum let me just try a little bit on the back of my hand oh it's very scented okay so it sinks in very fast to the skin I just don't know how that scent is going to be. So I'll, I'll try this. It's supposed to be a nighttime serum. So I'll try it tonight and see how I like it. But part of me is just thinking, like, is this really worth $54? Next, we got a product from The Balm. And this is the Read My Lips Lip Gloss. And I don't know how I'm going to like this. Because it's, it's, it's a colored lip gloss. Ooh, look at that color. I don't know if I'll use that. So let's read about it. Read my lip glosses feature a wide range of shades that make a statement without saying a word. Smart Mouth takes on a new meaning with this unique formula fortified with ginseng, a powerful antioxidant known for its mentally stimulating properties. Okay, I don't know about that, but I don't know if I'm going to use a lip gloss of this shade. It looks very bright but i'll try it out and we'll see definitely not something i would have picked out for myself next we have a lash serum which i have to admit i've never been drawn towards or ever wanted a lash serum i have decent lashes if anything i my issue is that i have a lot of hair <laughs> so i'm always working on removing hair so i've never felt one to need it but this is a lash serum used to help promote fuller darker brows and lashes so you can use it in your brows too Use one to two times per day across the lash line. Only one dip is needed for both eyes. Yeah, I don't know how you're going to be able to, like, tell a difference in only a couple of weeks, but I'll give it a shot. I can't even get it out of the box. <laughs> well, you know what? I think I'll put this down with my skincare in the bathroom, and I'll just try using it, like, at night and see if I see any differences in my lashes or brows. Which is interesting because it says it's supposed to be for lashes and brows, but it doesn't tell you to put it on your brows. It just tells you to literally just put it on your lashes, so. I don't know. We shall see. And the last thing on the list is just this bag from Try Beauty Box, which I think is really cute. It's a, it's a good sized bag. It's got a nice zipper, and it does come with like a little handle thing. But that's kind of where I think I'm going to put all the products as... I kind of finished testing them so I can have them ready for the next video. So that is everything in the February 2020 box, which is actually the theme was soft glam. So I guess I can kind of see how that is, especially with the um, eyeshadow palette. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you also get this box, let me know down below how you feel about the products, what you think of your last box, if you got the December box. And I cannot wait to see you in my next video. And I can't wait to take this lipstick off. It is so dry. <laughs> Bye.